Hey guys, it's Carolyn with Happier Helmet. Um, I decided to go ahead and do a tutorial of the flowers that I did for these little girls. I've had so many people reach out to me asking how I painted them and they're super, super simple. So um, I did want to go ahead and show you the, te the technique. Um, you should be able to do it within seconds at home. It's way easier than it looks. So let's get started. Okay. All right, so uh, first things first, you need to get your craft paint. You really only need four colors. I'm using five just because I wanted two shades of pink to mix together. But you're gonna need your dark color, you're going to need your middle color, your light color, and I'm adding orange to it just to give it a little bit more of a peachy undertone, but that's not really necessary if that's not what you're going for. Um, so you really need your dark color, your white, and then your middle color, um, bare minimum. You also need we're not actually using brushes for this, surprise, surprise, but I find Q-tips work way easier. You can toss them um, and just use several if you want to, and it just really helps to blend and make your flower look the way that you want it to look for this particular style. Um, you also want to be sure to paint your base color first, because it's a lot easier to draw these flowers or paint these flowers on top of your base color. Um, instead of trying to fill in your background around the floral uh, design that you did. So, start there. So what you're gonna do is start by mixing your base color. You're gonna want it to be pretty light. Um, that's gonna be the background color for your flower. I'm gonna just mix these things together, add a little bit of orange in there. Play around with it until you get it where you like it. Zoe. Okay. You're going to start making just a flower shape with that base color. Once you get it, the general idea um, of what you want the final flower to look like. So now you're going to start by going in with a little bit of a darker color. And you're just going to make little comma-like strokes. darkest color. Start at the center. Okay, that's going to be the center of your flower. You want it to be the darkest color that you are working with. You can do a separate color if you want, but I like to have it blend in to the rest of the flower. And you just start pushing it out in your comma-like strokes. that darkest color in there. Time to go back in with your white and start highlighting. You can see it's just really playing around with it until you get it to how you want it to look. Um, if you want to do flowers, or I'm sorry, not flowers, if you want to do some leaves, two different shades of green, lighter and darker, and you 
want them to be a little bit messy. back in the center with that darker green. way easier than they look and you just all you really need to do is play around with it until you get them how you like it using q-tips and super cheap craft paint from the craft store from Walmart there you have it I hope that that was helpful um, like I said it's really really easy anybody can paint those um, you just kind of have to know the technique but they look way more intricate and difficult than they actually are so anyway I hope that that helped you guys and I hope y'all have a great day Bye.